Thanks for coming back to Possum Farms. We're going to try a little experiment with that pineapple I started to cut up earlier, which I will be cutting up again some more. Right now, I'm going to store some of the meat that I bought yesterday and season half of the meat for our experiment. Half is going to be our regular way and half is going to be pineapple. Except you're not supposed to be able to taste the pineapple, which both Mr. and P and I are a little confused about, but these are some top sirloin choice kind of thick steaks. And I'm gonna package them up. Uh oh, I didn't think this through. Get over here. I need you to open the bag. <laughs> Okay. There, okay. Squeeze the air out and zip it up. All the air, all the air. Every little bit of air out. Whoops, before you zip the very end, you squeeze a little bit more. Because there's, see, there's still some in there. There you go, you got it. Now finish the zip. Okay. Just set that off over here. And help me get this other one in the bag, because, yeah, I didn't think that through. But I always try and wear gloves when I'm going to deal with something that might cross-contaminate the rest of the kitchen. That way it's easier to just quickly peel them off and either replace them and wash my hands or whatever else needs to happen. All right, and here's the ones we're going to play with. This is about three and a half pounds of meat. <coughs> this P wanted it where we would have a good section to be able to tell three different pieces. One, two, three. A little taste for everybody. That's the one that's going to get the pineapple. And now that I've done that, oh my, I want to handle the spices. Guess what? <laughs> Take them off like a surgeon, inside each other. I'm still going to wash my hands. Because that's the right thing to do, is wash your hands. Now we're going to season with the little Lowry's, because that is what we normally do. That or Chapel Hill sausage steak rub. Steak and chop dust, they call it. It's really very good if you like spicy, spicy. I don't as much as Mr. Get on there. Boy, that just takes up a lot of real estate. Nice big steak. Don't want to go too heavy. Won't be able to taste the meat. All right, that's done. Could throw it right on the grill. We usually don't. We usually let it set for a bit. Make sure you put the lid on it down here with all our humidity that would uh, dry out or uh, get real clumpy real quick with all the humidity. All right, now pineapple fun. I don't know exactly how we're going to need the pineapple. Do we need it pureed and sliced up or, or how am I doing this? Well. Some of these guys use a food processor. Well, that, other guys use a blender. But that's not what you wanted me to do with it, so. Well, go ahead and prepare this steak the same way that you did the other steak. Oh, you want the Lowry's on that one Lowry's too? Lowry's on it too. Okay. The difference between the two steaks, the only difference between the two steaks, should be one is in a pineapple marinade. 
And you can go a little heavier on that one if you want, because marinade's going to take some of it off. No, and I don't have my knife to, or my knife, my fork. Give me a fork to flip. I'm not use my fingers. That's another big chunk that's just really pretty. Three and a half pounds between the two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on that. I see that. a spot you missed. Still wanna put a lid on it. Just don't want it to get all clumped up. Okay, that's good. That's more than enough. All right. I am going to cut up the pineapple as best I can. Having never done this before, <clears throat> it should be amusing. Seen lots of pictures about how to do it on the videos on the web. You don't just put the core thing in it? Well, but that leaves a lot of this makes rings. So look how much waste that is. And I really don't see the very center of it, so. Ah. May I? You may have to. You're not using it correctly. Yeah. Hold it for me. Hold it steady. Again, never did this before. Oh, probably should have checked how far down we need to go before. Oops, thank God for the juices. Bowl. Oh. Yep. Neither was a reason why you had that bowl there, huh? Yeah. Oh, I knew about the bowl. Yeah, go ahead and get me my stainless steel ball. <laughs> yeah, hang on, I got sticky stuff. Oh, oh, big shoot! Damn it, it's going over the edge. Hang on, hold on. Okay, there's your stainless steel ball. Okay, well, we learned something. <laughs> Pineapple is juicier than it appears. <laughs> yeah. And you, uh, you just cut it into the bowl. Because, yeah, um, that didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work. Not, not at all as anticipated. Well, first time for everything, right? Well, I, I did say I've never done this before. Now I'm going to yeah. have a big mess to clean up. Okay, can you get me a big soup spoon? Soup spoon, soup spoon yes. I'm going to go and carve out a little bit more on the inside. Like you would with a pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. Well, while Just you're doing that, I'm going to... Scoop it around there. I'm going to cut some of the fruit off the rind here. In the chunks. Okay, we're going in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for this, from what I understand, you don't want any of the, the pith, the stuff that's, you know, real next to the outside. That's why that... Just like with other citrus. Yeah. And it's a lot tougher. And the middle of it is kind of woody. So from what I understand, you don't want to use the middle of it either. Well, that's why they call it the core. It's not quite like an apple core, but it is a little bit. Now, we've got all of this stuff. Yeah. Into our big mixing bowl here. We will be good taste in pineapple, huh? Yeah, we will be buying slash eating more pineapple. I will, <laughs> especially so now that I know how to use the gadget. I'm gonna clean up the mess I made. Take this spoon and just bust up. Can I have this for trash? Yep. Oh wait, do you want the juice? Yeah. Give me uh, oh, wow, wait, that's a lot of wait, juice. Wait, 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 wait. Get a uh, strainer. Uh, yeah. There's, there's. I got a real fine strainer in here somewhere. Well, you and your sticky go. fingers, watch out. Yeah, that's a real fine strainer. 
Oh, I thought there was more juice. Okay, so next time we do this, we got to do it over a bowl. No sugar added, no water added, just pineapple. Okay, I gotta get, I'll slide over and then you'll be in the view and I can dump this. As usual, Mr. P's making a mess. That's all right, I knew we would. I knew we would, I just didn't know it would be quite the way it was, having never done this. Pineapple with my handy dandy little hand mix. And we're going to go and mush it up until we get a puree. behind this is there is something inside of the pineapple that does a super duper fantastic method of tenderizing, chemically tenderizing beef. And works well on other meats and poultry. Oh yeah, any kind of meat. But uh, said it especially works well on beef. I don't know why that is. You know the internet. Now that this is completely covered, we're going to go and cover it up, and I'm going to let Miss P seal it. And then we go and put it in the refrigerator overnight. So we'll have dinner tomorrow night. We're going to go and cut, like she said. We're going to cut this piece into three pieces, we're going to cut the other one into three pieces, and we're going to do a taste test between the two. And when you're dealing with Tupperware, I, you always burp it or squeeze the air out, which I just did. Make sure it's sealed all the way around, which it is. And good to go, right? Yep, it is. And now I, we get to clean up, since I made a mess again. Anyway, thanks for coming along, hanging out with us a little bit today, and trying to learn something about how to tenderize a steak. There's your onions. Oh boy, now I got <laughs> onions to go plant. Always something on the farm, honey. Come on back and see us next time, y'all. Like, subscribe, and... Uh, Hit that notification bell and come on back and see us. He's got more work to do. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I got more work to do, too. Yeah, you do. <laughs>